In this lecture, we will discuss about periodic cleavage of glycols. This compound that contains 2 OH group is called diol. If I call this carbon is carbon number 1, then adjacent carbon is carbon number 2. So this is a 1, 2 diol. 1, 2 diol is also named as glycol. When 1, 2 diol or glycol is treated with HiO4 that is periodic acid bond between carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 is broken and it gives carbonyl compound either aldehyde or ketone so product is aldehyde or ketone. The product depends upon what kind of reactants we have that is what kind of alkyl groups we have attached to carbon number 1 and carbon number 2. So product depends upon alkyl group attached to carbon 1 that is C1 and carbon 2. For example, If I have this glycol and this is treated with periodic acid, bond between carbon 1 and carbon 2 will be cleaved and we will have two carbonyl compound So in this case we are getting two ketones. So product is two ketone. If I have this reactant this is carbon 1 and this is carbon 2 and if this compound is treated with periodic acid this bond will be broken and we will get one aldehyde and one ketone. So this is ketone and this is aldehyde. So product is one ketone plus one aldehyde. Now if I have this reactant And if this compound is treated with periodic acid, we have to break this bond Now in this case we are getting product that is only aldehyde, so we have two aldehyde. So we can get product aldehyde or ketone. Another important point if I have a cyclic 1, 2 diol. So let us say we have this cyclic 1, 2 diol. This is carbon 1 and this is carbon 2. And if this compound is treated with HiO4, we have to break this bond. and the product will be here we will have a ketone group and here also we will have a ketone group 
Now if you see in this case I am getting only one product that is both ketone group is in the same compound. And in this case both ketone group in the same compound So we can say after cleavage with para iodic acid we are getting only one compound this means given diol is cyclic. So if only one product is obtained by cleavage of HIO4 this suggests reactant is cyclic 1 to diol cyclic 1 to diol If I consider the mechanism of this reaction, mechanism involves a cyclic intermediate Now mechanism involves this intermediate so HIO4 para iodic acid makes a intermediate with glycol so this is cyclic intermediate. And this cyclic intermediate is a 5 membered ring 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This intermediate is not very stable and dissociates to give two carbonyl compounds. So this bond breaks this side. This bond pair goes to iodine forming a lone pair and this bond comes here. So if I follow these steps we will have C double bond O this side and this side also we will have C double bond O and one inorganic product we will have that is HIO3. iodine will have one lone pair also. So this is HIO3. So if you see this intermediate it is also reasonable to assume if I have two OH group that is same side then only this kind of cleavage will be possible because these two OH group same side. For example If I have this diol that is both which are same side so this is cis it will react with HIO4 but if I have trans so in this case reaction will take place and product will be I have to break this bond. And this side also we will have aldehyde group but if I have trans diol and this is treated with para iodic acid HIO4 no reaction will take place this is because I need both OH groups same side to make this intermediate so in this case cyclic intermediate is not formed. So 
so only cis diols only cis 1 2 diol is cleaved by HiO4 writing product with HiO4 is easy and what we have to do if I have a glycol and if I have to write product after reaction with HiO4 we have to simply break this carbon 1 and carbon 2 bond and then put 2 OH group both side this means I have to put a OH group this side and one OH group this side one OH group is initially here and then we have to release one molecule of water so if I lose OH and hydrogen from here we will have corresponding carbonyl compound similarly I can lose OH and hydrogen from here that is minus of H2O we will get the corresponding carbonyl compound so writing product is easy what we have to do is we have to break carbon 1 and carbon 2 bond put OH group and then release one molecule of water let us try few problems so we have to predict the product when these compounds are treated with HiO4 so part A we have CH3 CHOH CHOH CH3 and if this is treated with HiO4 we have to break this bond and put 2 OH group both side and in the next step we have to lose one molecule of water so we will get a aldehyde and this side also will get an aldehyde so we are getting two aldehyde as product now B part we have a 5 membered ring CH to OH and here we have OH this is carbon 1 this is carbon 2 if this is treated with HiO4 we have to break this bond and put 2 OH group so one OH group this side and I have to put one OH group this side and then if I lose one molecule of water so we will have so we can lose OH plus H and then we will get a ketone and here also if I lose one molecule of water so I will have formaldehyde so we will have one aldehyde and one ketone now part C we have so this side we have CH2 CH3 now this is carbon 1 this is carbon 2 we have to break this bond if this compound is treated with HiO4 and then we have to lose one molecule of water to get the final product
so if I lose one molecule of water from here so we will have pH C double bond O CH3 and if I lose one molecule of water from here I will have CH3 CH2 C double bond O so I will have C double bond O H so one aldehyde and one ketone now let us discuss D part so this time we have 2 OH group and hydrogen and hydrogen so we have hydrogen here hydrogen here also now if this compound is treated with HiO4 now if you see this diol is a cyclic diol so in case of cyclic diol we get only one product if you remember this is carbon 1 this is carbon number 2 so we have to break this bond so if I break this bond and put 2 OH group so OH group this side OH group this side and we have a hydrogen also similarly here and then if I lose molecules of water one molecule of water from here and one molecule of water from here so I will have C double bond O and a hydrogen is attached C double bond O a hydrogen is attached so we will have two aldehydes in the same molecule so two aldehyde group in same molecule so you see reaction with periodic acid is easy it will give aldehyde or ketone it depends upon what kind of alkyl group attached to the carbon mechanism involves a cyclic intermediate if I want to write product we have to break bond between carbon 1 and carbon 2 and then put OHOH group and then release one molecule of water from both carbon that is carbon number 1 as well as carbon number 2 so if you lose one molecule of water from both carbon we will get the final product 